Apidemic says, uh, for the first time, I'm starting to feel comfortable, not just confident, but but comfortable. Okay, that's good. Comfortable leads to boredom. Yes. And the boredom is setting in. Yes, 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 yes. You want to be bored. Thoughts on balancing that comfort and not becoming overconfident. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to like the answer, man. The way that you don't become overconfident is that, well, at least what I've found in my past is that you get, you get, a, re get a slap in the face by the reality of the market, which will inevitably teach you these lessons more and more over time if needed. So here's a way that I think about it, and here's a way that I've come to grips with that. That is why I'm so militant with always harping on these sorts of things, because I have found in my past that whenever I feel like I am better than the market or overconfident, as you will, the market has a very sick and sadistic way of reteaching me the lessons that it has taught me in the past. And the market will continue to teach these, these lessons until you fully in internalize them for for good it there is no letting go of the gas pedal in terms of being disciplined with your trading strategy the second that you let go of that the second you destroy all that you built up towards and you can expect that the market will shove a massive red dildo inside your bunghole and shish kebab you to your mouth hole it will not be fun it will not be good but it will be a good reminder so how do you not become overconfident the way that i do not become overconfident and i still do struggle with this sometimes absolutely especially after after like a long winning streak for example the way that i the way that i've kind of uh, caught myself back down to reality is by keeping a trade journal where i or just keeping like a general journal actually not not even a trade journal but like a general journal where i kind of write down how i'm feeling and whatnot and this could be like for anything in life because you'll naturally feel like or you'll naturally notice that that carries on over and so when you become overconfident, you should be able to identify that. Like, and you know that to be true if you're not telling lies to yourself, which why would you tell yourself lies in your own fucking journal? No one else is reading it except for your goddamn girlfriend if she, when she steals it, like mine does. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but, uh, oh my God, Ra Rahul is saying the generic bullshit that I think is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, please, please ban that. That is uh, that that that, uh, that is silliness. Look, the market is not rigged. It's just you're not as good at playing the, the the game against the market as the people who you think are rigging it. You'd probably be doing the same thing, to be honest with you. Like, be fucking honest, and that's what this comes down to. Be honest with yourself so that you can call these sorts of things out and you can bring yourself back to normality when needed. And it will naturally the the market will naturally teach you these things because look, I mean. It's no, it's no secret, man. At some point, you're gonna get another situation like we just saw a month ago. You know, we saw it about a year ago over here. We saw it about a year before that over here. We've seen it several times in the past and that will inevitably happen once again. So you need to be on top of your game because the second that you start to veer away from your self-defined plan, which has been working, it sounds like, then you start to let go of the statistics that were that are in your favor in favor of non-existent statistics because you're no longer playing out any sort of a plan so you cannot expect any sort of this a similar result so going you know swinging back around and trying to uh, hit this from a different angle um when you're starting to feel comfortable this is good you want to because comfort leads to boredom like when we feel comfortable we get bored and we look for the next thing to conquer that's great conquer something else remain bored within trading that is good that's the mindset that you want to be coming at it from you want to be bored as fuck while you are making money that is good that is that is that is the ideal position because you understand at that point that the statistics are working for you with your trading plan but when you become overconfident when does that happen well that happens typically after you have like a long winning streak in my in my case i imagine the same for you as well i don't think you really become overconfident when you have like a long losing streak for example so it's good to both reflect upon your past which you can do through a journal and you can also keep your keep in touch with your own uh thoughts and feelings within that journal as well on a day-to-day -day basis if needed and that will keep you grounded in reality because that will force you to have self-reflection and when you self-reflect or reflect upon yourself is that right i don't, I don't know <laughs> um <laughs> when you know when you have self-reflection um it'll cut you know it, it, it'll it'll be easier to identify and you will be able to uh not necessarily get away from that because it is natural that you're going to start to feel a little bit overconfident after winning so much like obviously um you know that's just kind of the way that you're set up but you want to be indifferent to that overconfidence so this is where a lot of people get tripped up in not just trading but a lot of other things as well my again myself included i'm not i'm not separating myself from this conversation but look People will both associate with their wins or losses more than what they deserve. And that is not where you want to be coming from. You want to look at yourself as just a human being, a person that is 
you know, you have emotions, but you don't, but you aren't the emotion. You aren't overconfident. You're just feeling overconfident. For example, you're not a fucking loser. You're just feeling like a loser. At the end of the day, you're just still a goddamn person. And those emotions, those sort of things are fleeting and they come in and they go out just like a fucking wave of the ocean. You don't even really have too much control over them, volitional control over them, that is. But you can recognize them. And once you recognize them, you're able to separate that emotion from who you are and you realize, okay, I'm I'm feeling overconfident, overconfident right now. I, that's cool. That's great. I'm, ha you know, I'm. Uh, that's that's amazing. You know, it's better than feeling sh like shit, obviously. But I don't want to associate with this feeling and think that it gives me superpowers in order to trade better. It doesn't. What gives me superpowers to trade better is just following this goddamn boring as fuck plan because that's really all that it is at the end of the day. And the second that I start to incorporate my overconfidence into my plan and maybe even get rewarded for it a few times at first too, that's why bull marks are so difficult, then you're going to inevitably veer further and further and further and you will very likely find what I've found, which is not fun, which is the opposite of overconfidence. It leads to an opposite but equal effect where you typically get wrecked or you know get humbled by the market once again. And the market will continually teach these lessons I found throughout the whole history of my of my career, no matter fucking what, if I if I think that I can just you know maybe I just you know uh, piss off on this today because I feel oh man this one's obviously going up I'll just fucking buy it right here almost every fucking time well maybe not every time but enough times it will be a humbling effect and so that lesson will become more and more internalized over time whether you like it or not here's the thing though if you are disciplined if you are 100 on top of it. You don't have to go through that, actually. You don't have to go through that. You only have to go through it as many times as you yourself allow it to happen. How do you allow it to happen? Well, as we just spoke about, you essentially veer off and associate with that feeling. But if you can dial it back, you can mitigate that as much as is within your volitional control. And that's all that you can do at the end of the day anyways. And so that is the best way to be coming at this, you know, as a uh, as a profession, in, in my opinion. 